Before we jump into today's show, I've got a really exciting announcement to make. The autumn cohorts for Start Your Podcast group program are now open. There are five dates between September and October, and it's a six-week program that will get you launched before Christmas. So if podcasting was on your to-do list this year, if you really want to get your podcast up and done by the end of 2023, then come and join me for one of those cohorts and let's make it happen. I have a free masterclass available for you called Understanding the Power of Podcasting. You can go over to donnaede.com forward slash masterclass, watch the masterclass, and get access to that enrolment. I hope to see you in one of the autumn cohorts very soon. That's donnaede.com forward slash masterclass. Let's get back to the show. Welcome to the Society of Professional Wedding Vendors. My name's Donna, I'm your host and in today's episode we're going to be talking about how content is king. Let's dive in. jump into today's episode, I just wanted to uh, highlight a cautionary tale for you guys. Um, I was sent a news article by a friend this week that really just blew my mind um, and is something that I hope that none of you guys listening would actually do. And it was a photograph from CCTV footage of a photographer and his assistant on a set of railway tracks with a bride and groom also on the railway tracks with a bridesmaid holding the bride's dress behind her for a photograph. And I hope that I don't have to um, explain to any of you why that is completely a thing that you should not be doing or explain to you the dangers that are involved. The other side to this is the uh, potential ramifications. So not only could those people be fined for doing that, but also they could have lost their lives. And the other thing is that photographer could completely lose his reputation. So there is absolutely no point, guys, in going for a photograph that is going to risk anybody's life. You do not want to risk a life for a photograph. Now, I was a photographer for 10 years and there were images that I wanted to get where I would lay on a wet floor to get the shot. There is a difference between going to the extremes to get the shot in that respect and putting people in danger. Um, so I hope that none of you guys would do that. There are railway tracks that are disused and owned privately or by a company that you can go and ask permission and get those railway track images if you must. Um, however, using a live railway where there are trains on a regular basis and cause a lot of issues on the track. So um, I hope that none of you would do that, but I just wanted to highlight it as something that has actually been a big issue in the past um, and is obviously still an issue today. Um, so as a professional wedding photographer for 10 years and as the founder of the society, I just want to sort of emphasize to you guys that you are not covered on your insurance for train track pictures. So if anything went wrong, you would be in, in big doo-doo. So um, I hope that you don't do that, that you've never done that and that you don't consider doing it in the future. So a little cautionary tale for you. The other thing I wanted to let you know was that the Society of Professional Wedding Vendors is opening its doors today. So if you head over to the website www spwv.co.uk, you'll be able to see a join button there on the front screen um, and you can come and join us in the membership. Head over to the website to see that information and I hope to see you on the inside soon. Huge apologies for the meowing cat in the background of that part of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Twinkle does like to be known and does like to tell me when it's nearly lunchtime for her. <laughs> Now into today's episode. So today we are looking at content and I wanted to talk about one, why content is important and two, what content is. So firstly, I want to address what content is. So content is basically anything you put on the internet. 
anything that you write, your posts, your videos, your photographs, anything you put onto the internet is content. And the reason content is important is because this is how people find you. What is important is to have a strategy behind your content though. And if there is no strategy, then there is absolutely no point in putting your content up because it's not going to do anything for your business and we want it to do something for your business. We're told that we should have weekly content and I do agree that having a weekly piece of content that goes up on your website um, is an important thing to have. So for me, it is the podcast. I put the podcast up on the website every week. For you, it might be a blog post or it might be a YouTube video, but whatever it is, having that weekly content that goes up onto your website is really important for a couple of reasons. One reason is because Google likes to see websites that are active. So if you're constantly updating it, uh, regularly updating it, then Google is going to favor that in its algorithm over a website that has been dormant and hasn't had any updates in the last six months. So the fact that you're updating regularly will put you ahead in the game. Secondly, it will give people a reason to come back to your website. So for people who are interested in what you do, they'll be able to come back to your website on a weekly basis, see something new from you. And this something new will help them to get to know you a little bit better, uh, get to understand your personality a little bit better, get to build that know, like and trust factor with them. So there are a couple of really good reasons there why you should have weekly content going up on your website. Uh, The issue comes when you start to think about all of the other content around this weekly piece of content that you need to create. So think about how many different social media platforms you are on at the moment. So I'm on five, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And Pinterest is a search engine, um, not always seen as a social media platform, but for sake of arguments here, we're going to include it. So how often do you post on your platforms? If I was to post every single day on every single one of my platforms, that would be 25 posts a week, if you're doing Monday to Friday. And that is 25 pieces of content. And that might seem a little bit overwhelming. So do you have to have all original pieces of content across those 25 posts? Hell no. So remember, not everybody follows you on all of the platforms you are on. So and not everybody sees all your posts. So, for example, if you post at 11 o'clock on a Monday on Facebook and then you post that same exact content onto Instagram, it doesn't mean that somebody who does follow you on Instagram and Facebook is going to see both of those posts because they might be on Instagram at that time and see it pop up in their feed. They might not go on Facebook for another three hours and they've got so much other content that's coming through to them on Facebook that they don't get back to your post when they're scrolling through their feed. Because Remember, most people don't actually scroll back in their Facebook feeds until they see the last thing that they saw. And because of the way Facebook's set up, it doesn't really allow for that anymore. What they they're going to pay attention to is their notifications. So people don't see everything you post. So don't worry about repeating yourself. So I want to walk you through repurposing your weekly post to get the most out of it. And I do have a free download for you to go along with this episode that will show you how you can then post these posts out over your social media for an entire month. You can download that at www.spwv.co.uk forward slash 028 um, and that will contain all the information that I'm about to go through with you. So when you are writing out a, and I'm going to use blog posts for an example, because I think that's what most people tend to do. When you are planning out your blog post, try and have three to five points about the topic that you're talking about. So um, three top tips for this, five reasons why X, um, and then you can use those individual points as posts. So you could use one point for your top tip Tuesday. If you do a top tip Tuesday, you can share that point on all of your social medias and then you can link it back to your website to gear people to the other points. So you turn around and say, you know, here's a top tip for X, Y, Z. And if you want more tips, 
head over to the website and check out my blog post. And then you are constantly pushing people back to your website. So that's part of this strategy that I was talking about. When you make a post, make sure you've got a strategy. That strategy should be driving people back to your website. So by doing this, you will have one post every day that's going up somewhere that is going to gear people back to your website. So if you do this with five points and you do it on three, the three main platforms, say Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, and you've got five points, that's 15 posts that you can have there going out across your platform. So that's over two weeks worth of driving content to that one blog post that you've made. And remember, you're putting up a new blog post every week. So you're constantly going to be driving traffic back to your website. So something that you can do with all of these points is create an infographic. Now, I use Canva for my infographics. Um, They've got some great templates that you can then customize to your branding um, so that it makes sense for you. There is an example of an infographic in the download for this episode. And I do know that Marie Louise is an expert in Canva. And so I will link her in the show notes so that if you do have any difficulty with Canva at all, um, you can reach out to Marie and she will be able to help you with Canva. Um, So infographics are really great as a bullet point of your points. So you can share those three points um, in an infographic and again, send people back to your website to read the information on why those points are important. You can then do two other things with your blog post. You can turn it into an audio post, so a podcast. So you can go onto Audacity. It's free software. It's what I use to record mine. Um, And you can record a podcast of the episode and share that onto your website and then create a post saying that you have loaded a podcast explaining the um, tips and there may be some extras in there because of course you're talking about it so you might talk a little bit more. I know my show notes are kind of the trimmed down version of the podcast so you'll be able to expand a little bit more on a podcast. And The other thing you can do is create a YouTube video. So for you guys, especially being um, from a business to a consumer perspective, a YouTube video will probably do you probably more good than a podcast, if I'm honest, because consumers like to see. So as business people, we like to hear we're on the go all the time. We haven't got time to watch things. We just want to keep moving. So a podcast in our ear is a lot easier to deal with than a video that we might have to sit down and watch. But for couples, you'll probably find that a video where they can actually see and hear you is going to perform slightly better for you than an audio only. But it's another option. So you don't have to do all five of these things if being on camera makes you really, really uncomfortable. Um, Of course, I'm not asking you to do anything that you are uncomfortable with. However, success does lie just outside your comfort zone, guys. So maybe it is time to step out from behind the scenes and uh, come in to the forefront a little more. So that has given you your three to five points in your blog post, your infographic, your audio, your video, and you can get a whole month's worth of posting um, about this one blog across all of these different posts. And in the download, I have actually given you a graphic to show you how this would work. So for example, if you put your blog post up on a Monday morning, you could then share it on all your social medias. Here's my blog post for the week, guys. Head over and see it. It's about X. And then the next day, you might post something completely different and not mention it. But the following day on Facebook, you might just draw out the point one of your topic. Do a post about that one point and then direct people back to your website. And then the next day you might post that same point on Instagram with a reason for them to go back to your website and read the rest. And then the next day you might share that same point on Twitter and send people back to your website. So the idea is that this one blog post is going to be sending people back to your website for an entire month. And it's going to be across your social platforms. So it doesn't have to be that you're sharing it every day. And this is how you can integrate it with another social media calendar. So for me, I do my Motivation Monday. I do my Top Tip Tuesday. I do um, a reminder on Wednesday for the podcast. 
I do the new podcast on a Friday. I do a throwback Thursday. I do my member shout outs on a Saturday and I do something personal on a Sunday. Because I have that set up across all my platforms as that's the way that I run my weeks, I can then integrate these posts just to replace one of those on one of the platforms on whatever day it happens to post. So to get a better understanding of it, guys, I highly recommend you download the freebie for this episode. It will explain it in a probably a lot better detail. And it is a more of a visual thing. I think you can see it more visually. It really helps. So I recommend that you spread these um, out like I've shown in the calendar on the download. And it gives you that opportunity to send people back to that one podcast for an entire month uh, or one blog post, sorry, for an entire month. And then remember, you're going to be releasing a new blog post the following Monday and the whole routine starts again. So you can really start to build these out. And then when you get traction on one, you might do a throwback post that points people back to that particular episode. So you don't have to be coming up with brand new content every single day. It it is not a necessity to do that. And by utilising this one blog post in this way, you can really cut down on the amount of content you've got to think about creating, especially once you start building it up after you've got sort of four weeks worth going. You, you, you're not going to ever need to post anything else but information about your blog. So um, it's a really, really useful tool, tool to use it. And of course, you can use it as much or as little as you feel comfortable with. If you have other points to make, then you don't have to use all of the points in the blog posts to do it. You don't have to do a video. You don't have to do a podcast. But if you were going to use all of them. The uh, download will show you how you can use them most effectively. So that's it for today, guys. I hope that has helped you um, to understand how you can use one blog post and repurpose it to get the most benefit out of it. Don't forget to go over to the website www.spwv.co.uk forward slash 028 to find that download. It will be really, really useful to see it in a visual setting. It will become a lot more clearer, I'm sure. And then don't forget also that today the society has opened its doors and we are planning on staying open until March. So head over there, see what we're up to um, and get in today because we have a fantastic masterclass coming on November the 1st from Kaz Wilson, who is going to be talking all about Facebook ads with us. So I'm really, really excited to bring that to you guys. So head over to the website it's on the home page and the join button and you can find out all about the benefits of being a member of the society so that's it for today guys i'll see you next week bye for now Don't forget to hit those stars and leave a review of the podcast where you listen if you found value in what you heard today. It's a free way you can help the podcast reach more people just like you.